Assalamu alaikum and welcome guys to Malaysia. We are right now in Kuala Lumpur. So this is my first time here. And as you can see this big statue. And uh, there is like 200 steps there. We're gonna go climb there and see what's inside the caves. And right now guys, we are like 8 a.m. in the morning. So it avoids the rush hour. And as you can see guys, it's so beautiful here. Everything's so colorful. And this was one of my bucket list. And now guys, we made it. And now guys, let's check out Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Here we go. Our first friend is gonna be this monkey here, right? Salam alaikum. He doesn't, he doesn't like me. Okay, yalla. Yalla habibis. Alright guys, now we are taking the steps, oh, it's like 200 steps. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna go show you the rooftop of this hotel. Pay like thirty dollars for this view. Let me just show you one second. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna now walk our starting point at the bridge and from that bridge we're gonna have a nice view to a temple and from there we're gonna start going from south to north and I'm gonna show you everything. So yeah, today is a beautiful day but it's very hot and humid bro here like it's like, oh, I don't know, it's like more than Thailand. but. 
it is what it is. Like, I'm shocked. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. So as you can see guys, this reminds me of Medellin. They have also like this transportation to take a train. And yeah, that's how you can also move around. As you can see guys, <coughs> like you see so many Pakistani people that I feel like when I was in Dubai that's the same thing. Alright guys, so now we're gonna start from uh, south to north. So, so I'm gonna t try now to show you the best spot guys because I've been here since one week and so far I love the city. So now I'm gonna try to show you the best sites. And yeah guys, so right now we are at the river of life. That's what it's called. You see here like nice, this is the Sultan Abdul Mosque. And as you can see, this is a whole river here and it's called river of life. And on this side, I saw guys this was Venezuela flag but that's the flag of Kuala Lumpur <laughs> so and here you see like colored nice I think this is some historical building I don't know much about it you we can guys google about that I'm not gonna do it pretend like the other youtubers to know everything who google everything five minutes before and yeah guys so now what we're gonna do we're gonna start from north uh, from south to north and then I'm gonna show you everything because I've been here since one week in this city so far I love it guys this is one of the most underrated city and then at the end of the video you can guys give me your opinion about this city so as you can see guys a lot of people wearing hijab because this is this is like a Muslim country and it's like 70 80 percent of people are all wearing hijabs so that's why you see that now this is guys the central market as you can see so now let's have a look inside. I think it's gonna be more empty here, yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, weekend was like back here. You couldn't even walk here. And so if you go up uh, top, there is like only clothing. And if you stay here, you can have some souvenirs, some gifts. We have also restaurants here. Yeah, we need we need to go. I think it's just like more clothing, and you can see. Oh, okay. Oh, what is that? Is this popcorn? Looks like popcorn, bro. Look at that salted egg, fish skin. They sell like a lot like this jelly. So they sell like a lot this jellyfish, candies, whatever you call it. Um, but I, I'm not that fan of trying these candies. Okay, so that was Central Market, yeah? Alright, that's the metro station. Here is now we go guys to Chinatown. And that's the Chinatown. Alright guys, I think this traffic is not a so I'm waiting here since two minutes ago. Alright. Guys, this is called Chinatown, but all I see is like Pakistani people selling some stuff. I don't wanna say that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So obviously you will see like a lot of original stuff like original Rolex uh, you can find original Gucci original Louis Vuitton come come my friend come come I'm giving you give you a discount discount my friend my friend for you my friend I give you a good discount
Bro, I was expecting like Chinatown when I came first time here. I was expecting like only street food, only Chinese stuff. But what I see, like 70% is that like Pakistani people selling you original brands, expensive brands. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Bro, there's no way he's selling this. <laughs> you see this? That's like fake Apple stuff, bro. I don't trust this. It's saying it's Apple, but it's not Apple. That's bullshit. Alright, that was one way Chinatown and but guys so let me show you now the second tallest building in the world it's called Medeca 118 or 118 so as you can see guys it's so beautiful here yeah? like this nice this nice design old building with color And it's officially not open yet but at the end of the year it's gonna be fully open and yeah All right, guys, so now we are here at the painting area, like tourist attraction. <coughs> it's called, what is it called again? So guys, the alley is called Kwa Chai Hong, and literally means Little Demon Alley. And yeah, so it's believed to be a reference to the Nauri children that once lived in this street. And as the word Kwa, which means demon or ghost. And yeah, at its variation are often used to refer to brats in Asian culture. And you see like all these Bro, I like I like these vibes here. Like, let me go inside. I was last time here when it was raining. Now I see it better. It looks so nice. Very like nice alley to make pictures and to visit it here once you are come here to Kuala Lumpur. Very nice. All right, guys, let's continue. Let's go now to downtown. Very busy area. All right, guys. So according to Google Maps, it's saying 26 minutes of walking until to the next destination. That's like another nice area I need to show you. But bro, 26 minutes at this weather. Shush. It's okay, I'm gonna show you like Reef Street of Kuala Lumpur, so we're gonna use that. No problem, for you guys. Smash the like button, yalla. Indian Pakistani. Welcome, my friend. I want to take your money. Well, last time I hit here. But you only need to pay cash. I like it. I, li I ate like this noodles. Uh, 
China. I feel like I'm in China. All right, guys. So now let's go to our next destination. So guys, this is like some uh, is nice snacks. Pedo. Sorry. Cheese potato. Cheese potato. Ah, oh, that nice. sounds very nice. It's very cheap. Uh, this is beef. Yeah, that's beef. Was Sixteen. That's like uh, three dollars. Three dollars. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Bro, I, the one thing I love about Asia, when I come to Asia, I can have so much variety of Asian food for cheap prices. Damn. This city looks so similar to Bangkok, Thailand. Like, if you look around, these bridges and these people, but Bangkok, you see more people with motorcycle, for one thing. <laughs> and I see a lot like people with expensive cars, bro. Guys, let me show you this. You see like the contrast between poor building, looks like old, looks like Hong Kong. <laughs> and then like between like where it was working, like a little more modern. But damn, everybody making all laundry at the balcony. Okay, let me show you what I mean. You see this, and then on this side, so so clean and modern that's what i'm saying it looks so strange right look at that now here bro the most people i saw in this country are german and russians and no no german russian that's it there is no end all right guys so now we are here at jalan alor so guys this place is called Jinalor. So that's basically nice one-way walking street, just food market <clears throat> for cheap price. It's so packed here. Like I will come back later here when it's night because daytime you see like it's so it's like almost nothing. Everything is closed. But at night, and I'm gonna make sure come back later here at night and show you how really it is because you should see it. Some food. Guys, you found a place where we can pay with cards. Oh, what I ordered, guys, this is fried chicken with mango and then we have here fried rice. Bro, some alleys looks like so like fucking ugly, <laughs> dirty and. Yeah, Alright guys, now we are in the street of massage. Welcome! I need your money. Why you not marry me? Why are you leaving me? I need boyfriend. I'm lady boy. I'm not lady. <laughs> Alright guys. Let me let me check let me check it out. <laughs> so the one plate it's like straight where this this uh, food area is. If you go to the left side, you're gonna find it here. So you're gonna see. Let me see what the food massage price is. 30 minutes, 35. So that's like $10. So what, like, not. Uh, I think it's because of daytime, that's why we don't see many. But I think at weekend or at nighttime, it's gonna be like way more. But nobody literally, like, like nobody's working right now. It looks so empty. <laughs> okay. Here's also like food massage, 35. Okay. Hello. Okay. So. As you can see, that, that is the street food. And then once you come up, you want to go to left and then you find the street massage food. Germans, bro. Germans are everywhere in this country. Yo, guys, wait, wait. Let me try one spot. Guys, I'm going to try right now a spot for you. Cheese potato. Oh, it's still full. Look at that. It's always full here, bro. Because I always see millions of people here. 
when I come at night. Let me just check what they're doing. What, what is that? So that's like meat with vegetables, with spices, curry. It's like dumplings. Oh here we have like maybe fish or chicken, I don't know. Chicken. Chicken? Mm. Ah, okay. The beef nicer. Really? <laughs> so many people waiting, it's good? Yeah, yeah really good. Yeah. Very good. Usually the queue will be longer than this. Oh really? You have to wait until yeah. That's crazy. Alright okay, guys, so you see this line, all these people waiting just to try this food. <laughs> That's so funny. Guys, I'm gonna try it next time, bro. I'm waiting since 10 minutes and we moved only one inch. <laughs> now, guys, we are Bukit, 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 what is it Bukit Bintang. That's the downtown area, Bukit Bintang. And here, like always, at night, is super full. No worries, guys, I'll show you later. Guys, I wanna so bad try something green, but I'm right now doing video for you guys. So. Because it's so hot and humid. Yeah. See, clean. I see a lot of Pakistani people, same in Dubai. Uh, people like. Everything is like actually good organized. I didn't expect it to be that. Actually, more organized than Thailand. Alright, let's cross the street. We have here, people crossing here, same like in Japan. I don't know, the crossing street in Japan, same thing. Everybody's crossing. Oh, let me check out this. There is like one mini mall. I always pass by. Uh, look at all these delicious muffins, bro. It's too, bro. It's what one thing I can tell you guys. It's so difficult to come to Asia and not to gain weight. <laughs> You're gonna eat so much delicious stuff, like crazy. Okay. Seven Eleven. If you're in Asia, Seven Eleven is place to go. <laughs> Guys, when I saw, when I said like mini Dubai, I mean, look at that. You see all these high rises, they are like everywhere. It's not only here, it's like so many of them. And that's why I say it's like little Dubai of Asia. To be honest, to be honest, I didn't expect it to be like that. Also, like, yeah, Malaysia, poor country. But no, it's not poor country. It's like very rich country. It's like, you're feeling like you are like in Europe. That's how I feel like. So, LEDs.
Look guys, no, no, when I say Dubai, look at it. Look, look at all this. Doesn't look similar. There is like there was like one fountain, but they remove it. I don't know why. So guys, the first mall we're gonna enter right now is called Pavilion, and that's a connection between this one to KLNC, the other one, the biggest uh, mall here in Kuala Lumpur. So let's have a check it out. Let's, guys. One thing I wanna tell you, I love to show you around. I'm not like this YouTuber, like I don't know how should I say it, like exploring and. Uh, I don't know for me. It's like I like to show you this show you that Show you the best spots. Okay, not like boring only the best So hopefully guys you like it Man, I can smell the coffee until here <laughs> Oh, we have five guys look at that We have five guys I don't like five guys. I don't know why all these people enjoying this burger, bro. Louis Vuitton. Just have a take a walk. So how So now we're gonna go towards Twin Towers. We have to go this way. So that's like aquarium we can visit to view some wildlife animals. But I was there and I was like so-so. Wasn't that expressed. But for ten dollars, okay. Hey guys, now we are at the KLCC uh, park. It's very peaceful, quiet. Uh, Monday, I love it way more. Weekend, it's a lot of people here, and yeah. Bro, please comment down below, guys. What do you think about? Oh, oh, this mosquito, bro. It was like a big bite. But what do you think, guys, about this, this format? So I can do it always for you or what you suggest I can do because I don't like this talking to people, trying food, food review, it's not my thing. I just want to show it to you like what I'm traveling and while you people cannot like travel the world, I want to just show it to you and the best spots. So right now guys you're wondering why I'm looking so up like this because right now I'm looking at the tallest twin towers in the world. Let me show it to you. So guys, here you can get filtered drinking water, which I love. 
I'm gonna now drink it so much bro it's so hot Yo guys, this is refreshing. Oh, let's go. That's Russians. Guys, Russians are everywhere. Russians, German, Ukraine. I don't want to speak now because so many blonde people. Anyway, let me show you right now a nice view of the Twin Tower from here, from the bridge, where you can see people making photos. Here we go guys, look at that. It's 450 meters high. In feet, I would say like 1,400, 1,500. Uh, everything is green. You know what I like about this city? It has so much green, it's like reminds me same in Medellin yeah guys this is it I would say this is Medellin version in Asia because you see like so much green we are still in like a big city it's also surrounded with mountains and that's why I'm so surprised by this city it's not what I expected and here and here guys look at that let me show you it's like normally like a fountain show but Right now, it doesn't start any fun the show. It starts only at 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10 p.m., and every time for 10 minutes. And between that time, it's only like normal water. Uh, I don't know what's called. <laughs> oh, there we go. But guys, don't worry. I'm gonna come back here at night and show you the fun and show. We have right now 4 p.m. as a fort. Welcome! Hello! I want your money! Why are you leaving me? Let's go! <laughs> so, this is another mall, guys, the Twin Tower Mall. And as you can see, Gucci, Gucci. So, <laughs> we have Gucci there, you see that? <laughs> Guys, I'm so laughing right now. When I was recording, these two women pass me. <laughs> the way they look at me on camera, it's so funny. It's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, guys, you know what I'm gonna show? I'm gonna go now to the food section. Let me compare it one more time, like in. Uh, uh, in Medellin, Colombia. So when we go to Medellin, Colombia, you have this typical Bandera Paisa, uh, chicken fried, KFC, uh, Subway, and that's it. So boring. Now let's check out the food spot here in Kuala Lumpur. Bro. So people are gonna tell me why I'm comparing to Medellin. First of all, I've been like 10 times to Medellin. I still love Medellin. Second, a lot of you guys have been to Medellin and want to see something in comparison to Medellin. I think I need to go down first because that is what I can see it. Wait a second. So now guys, I can show you some food stuff here in the mall. Uh, here for example, here like beef, rice, 26. So everything you divide 26 by five. We have here some drinks. So yes, you can see there are like so much varieties. We have like barbecue, beef, rice bowl. So you can choose like for 20 or 25. Then it's just like some stuff like with omelette, with rice inside. We have rice. can choose stuff and they fry it for you, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. There was your Indian food. Masala. 
If you like seafood, that's also a place to go. Oh, the one thing I love about this country, they have so much variety. You have no idea what to choose. That's so nice. Try the chicken. Okay, that's a nice view of the park. And I ordered this one. It's like old berry. Like five different types of berry. Mix it. Ice and cold. I left. Give it a try. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Very fresh and not sweet. Okay, let's finish this. Say like nice Arabic coffee. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Gucci. As you can see, guys, all these women wearing hijab. It's like 80% Muslim country, uh, like Muslim, yeah. It's like form lines. Bro, this looks like, bro, this looks like I am legend movie. Like, why is it the whole plants outside the building? Whew, guys, that was a hell of a tour, bro. So much walking, hot sun. And now, guys, we are arriving at our final spot here. It's like all people making photos and Instagram of the Twin Towers. All right, guys, I would say peace from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Find me Twin Towers, and I see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.